special 2022 edition of the UWI Toronto Benefit Awards is happening on June 25th. And today, Avon Caribbean News' Damien Silgren sat down with one of this year's special honorees. Jamaican-Canadian fashion and celebrity photographer Walter Chin is a 2022 honoree and Vice Chancellor Award recipient of the UE Toronto Benefit Awards. The accomplished creative touched on his life and storied career en route to receiving this prestigious honor. I originally wanted to be a visual artist, like a painter, but, you know, I, I figured it would be very hard to make a living in that, you know, I would end up maybe create curating in a museum in the basement or something something like that so um uh, the next best thing i knew you know because i've seen other pictures um commercial pictures i thought maybe this is something that i i would come easier so i i decided yeah this is this is basically it's my chance that i got a break and I um, assisted and, and helped uh, this fellow in Toronto while, while I was in uh, college. Um, I assisted him and I really got into, uh, got very interested in doing fashion and uh, celebrity photography because it was, um, was a good means of making a living. The Jamaican-born, Toronto-raised photographer took his career and ambitions to the next level when he decided to take his talents international. This move set him on a path to experiencing major career highlights. Um, the highlight was um, working for French L, getting a break um, after spending a couple of years there without actually working. I, um, you know, it's timing and, and, and connections and, and, and being at the same, yeah, being being at the right place, the right time, and that was back in the 80s, so um, yes, I, yeah, my highlight was working for the publication um, in France, the French L magazine. He shared his feelings on being the recipient of the Vice Chancellor Award at the 2022 UE Toronto Benefit Awards. I'm so proud, I, I can't tell you how, how amazing it is to be considered receiving this, because it is my highlight of my career <laughs> if you want you know this is it you know of all the accolades that i've, I've been given over the, over my lifetime this this is the quintessential one you know to receive i i'm i'm, I'm very proud to be actually a caribbean uh, person a person a jamaican and everything else i mean i I am. Um, I'm thrilled. I, I can't tell you more than that. Uh, I'm just ecstatic. Walter, who has had the opportunity to photograph top models and celebrities, the likes of Susan Sarandon, Sofia Vergara, Nile Rogers, Gwyneth Paltrow, and Taylor Swift, credits his Caribbean heritage as a major contributor to his success in the industry. I realized that um, in order to make it. I, would, I had to try 10 times as hard to achieve anything that other people, North Americans, were, were entitled to. So my background really contributed to my success. There's no slowing down for the man who has powered advertising campaigns for top international design houses and who famously photographed a new Giselle Bunchen on horseback. With several international gallery shows and editorial projects, Walter aspires to use his art to inspire those around the world, in particular the Caribbean, to pursue their career dreams and goals. I'd like to share and, 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 and my work with the people in the Caribbean and, and um, you know, to show them that there's no limit to, to where you're coming from, so to speak, you know. Um, like I said, I, I, I'm basically coming from the ghetto and <laughs> in Jamaica, you know, like outhouse, you know, whatever, you know, zinc roof, you know, um, floors that, that's um, basically dirt, you know, so, you know, hey, we're ridden from the ashes and it's sky's the limit, like I say, you know, uh, so all I want to say to everybody is um, just, just believe, that's it.
To learn more about Walter Chin, follow him on Instagram using the handle at Walter Chin. And for further info on the UE Toronto Benefit Awards, please visit www.uetorontogala.org. This has been Damien Sogren for One Caribbean Television.